morning, my friends. I'm so glad that you are here. Welcome back to my vlog for what I eat in a day to lose weight. Y'all, the Florida Panthers, which is the hockey team that my husband follows and now subsequently I follow, my in-laws follow, etc., had a West Coast game last night. We were in the East Coast, which means our game didn't start until 9.30 p.m. And so I got to bed by the time, like, you know, you watch the action and it was actually a very exciting game, blah, 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 blah. I didn't get to bed until like almost 1.30 in the morning. I'm tired. I'm moving slow, but that's okay. I'm going to have a relaxed but productive day today, and I'm very, very excited about it. My mother-in-law is actually heading out in a little bit to take grandmother, and they're going to go like get their hair done and do like their, their bi-weekly salon trip, which gives me a couple of hours to myself which is lovely. My husband is out of town on a business trip. He doesn't get in until tomorrow night and he left on Monday. So the very typical um, consulting schedule that we used to live by when we lived in Chicago and he had a different job. And so it'll be just me for a little bit, which will be wonderful. Just a bit the ability to sit and do what I need to do and get things done. And it's going to be amazing. So I thought I would take you along with me for kind of a day in my life doing things in Florida where like life never is really normal normal but today hopefully is going to be the most normal of day that I could possibly get out of not being at home. So without further ado welcome to my vlog I'm glad you're here let's go. So I got a new kind of coffee at the store yesterday it's this Want this blend by Starbucks. We are pretty exclusively Starbucks drinkers as we find that the acidity level in most dark roast Starbucks coffees are is low and we like bold coffee tasting coffee but we don't like acidity in our coffee and so we just we gravitate towards Starbucks it just is what we do and I had to get more coffee at the grocery store yesterday and I found this blend that I've never tried before that is a dark roast blend called Morning Joe and the notes the flavor notes sounded interesting so I picked that up and that's what's in my cup today and now that I've consumed it, my first sip, I was like, oh, is this more acidic? Like, I can't, there's something about it that's different, and I don't know if it's different in a good way, but now that I've had some, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I don't think it's going to replace our Verona or our Sumatra blend, but it's nice to switch things up every once in a while, and it's it's funny because, like, switch things up, but, like, I'm, I'm switching up the blend within my comfort zone of Starbucks coffee. <laughs> You know, it is what it is. It's pretty good though. I'm also having a day where I am not at all hungry. Like it is 10, 15 and food does not interest me in the slightest. So what I did just to make sure that I have something in my system, cause you know I like to have food in my system when I'm being on my best behavior before I drink coffee, um, I made sure that I had a significant a significant amount of creamer, a full serving of my Nut Pods creamer. So that gives me a whopping one gram of fat. It's it, it ain't much. It's 10 calories, but it's something. I'm making sure it's just not straight black coffee, um, which I never drink straight. I never drink straight black coffee. So that's besides the point, but I'm just, I'm trying to strike that balance between like you should eat right before you have your coffee and you're not hungry. Listen to your hunger cues and eat when you're hungry because I'm not one of those people that's going to um, like use intermittent fasting type behavior as an excuse to not eat. Um, if I'm hungry, I'm going to eat food. And so, but at the same time, that makes me go, if I'm not hungry, don't eat food. So today we are going to eat food when we are hungry and at this period of time I'm guessing that it might mean that it's a two meal and an extra snack kind of day instead of a three meal kind of day. Um, and I'll help just have my sandwich that I'll show you. You've seen it before but I'm going to show it to you again because I have all the ingredients and I'm going to make it again. And it's high protein, really filling, higher in calories with, you know, when you fill up your plate with all sorts of good stuff. And so I might have this like brunch. We'll see. We'll see. But now what I'm going to do to keep things nice and chill still here in the morning, um, I missed a training from Christy Russell's Rise Through Style Society yesterday, and it is our first training of 2023. So I'm going to grab my computer, sit down, and watch that training to kind of get my head in the right headspace for the day. <laughs> Remember when I 
just said don't do it? Do you remember when I just said don't do it? I meant it. Don't do it. It's the pool boy. He comes every single week. It's not, it's not new. It's not new. It's the pool boy. I know you're so fierce. Hey. Hey. You're, you're not even growling at him. You're growling at his reflection in the window. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, stinky. I'm going to give you a bath. Hey, monkey. Let's look away from the window, baby. How's that? How's that, huh? Mama's got to do some work. I want to watch this thing. I'm going to put my headphones in. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. Hey. What? What? There is no need, there's no need to behave like that. Thank you for protecting me. You're a good protector. Now can you not bark? Can you manage? Go lay down. Go lay down. All right, I thought I would walk you through my breakfast lunch. It's lunch, it is 12.15. I have managed to delay myself enough where I just flat out missed breakfast today. And that's okay, I don't feel bad about it because I'm going to be eating the calories that I need anyway, so that is what it is. I am making this bagel sandwich, which is currently deconstructed. This is a Western bagel. You're not even gonna be able to see the label because it's in this container. It is the Perfect 10 Bagel from westernbagels.com. It has 19 grams of protein and something like seven, eight, nine, somewhere around there, grams of fiber, really well balanced, 160 calories, love that. As my condiment, I'm actually using the Philadelphia onion and chive cream cheese. I am recreating the Einstein Brother Bagels turkey, uh, tasty turkey sandwich. Which one is the bottom of this bagel? This one. And so on the tasty turkey sandwich, I actually slice up cucumber because that's how they do it in the restaurant. And it's delicious. So I got myself some fresh cucumber here that I just sliced up and I put it on the bottom of the sandwich because I find it's easier to eat that way. So I've got some cucumber up in here and then I'm using one slice of this Good & Gather Colby Jack cheese and then Boar's Head All-American Barbecue Chicken, that's four ounces of chicken. So that's, it's not, it's not turkey, it's a chicken sandwich, but the idea, the inspiration is from my Einstein Brothers sandwich. I am also having myself some Popcorners Flex Chips. These are the soy-based uh, protein Flex Chips by Popcorners, and they have 120 calories and 10 grams of protein, if it will focus, which it's not gonna do. It's 10 grams of protein. So the total for my serving of this, I'm gonna weigh out one serving and my sandwich, there she is, in all of her beautiful glory is 550 calories and 55 grams of protein, friends. 55. Well, 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 just for funsies, I actually put on a little bit of makeup, a little bit of hair straightening, put on a necklace. I'm trying very, very hard to channel what I learned in this month's training in Rise Through Style Society. And basically, essentially, it is to act like the version of yourself that you are working on becoming. Like, it pretend it's already there, you know, it's kind of like that fake it till you make it mindset. Some people believe in it, some people don't, but here's the reality. When you want to show up as a specific version of yourself, taking the actions required to get to be that person is literally the only way to get there, right? So if you start acting like the person, for example, for me, the person who wants to lose 37 by 37, someone who's fresh starting their health and fitness journey and has all of these other goals, right? If I show up as the end result of that person, what is that person like? The person who has successfully lost the 37 pounds, the person who has successfully become her strongest self, is more mobile, is more energized, is more vibrant, who is much more confident in her clothes and in her body. How does that woman show up? And if I start showing up like that woman now, 
the like the results will come right like that, that's the whole mindset thing I made a mood board today I'm real proud of it and um, so I'm just I'm feeling a little jazzed I have a wicked headache which may or may not be because of the fact that up until what whatever time I ate lunch that was breakfast I just had coffee and water like plenty of water I was plenty hydrated but I have just right right in between the temples it could also be because I didn't sleep great last night and I didn't get enough sleep last night whatever the case may be I'm struggling but I did in fact get on the treadmill and I walked for half an hour at a pretty brisk pace which was awesome while catching up on some YouTube videos and I also actually started I just just started Love Island uh, because I needed something to watch and I don't know what to watch. I was, I'm in the middle of Dynasty on Netflix, but I don't really feel like watching Dynasty right now. I can't watch Bones. We restarted Bones, but my husband is gone, so I can't watch that. We were watching Castle. Can't watch that without my husband. Will and Grace is something I'm watching with my mother-in-law. Friends is something I'm watching with my mother-in-law. I mean, I could always watch Friends, but like, I just need something that was like, feel good or kind of trashy TV, but get like, like, I don't even know. Um, I watched Emily in Paris. So for the people that are going to suggest Emily in Paris, already up to date, love that show, big fun. Uh, so if you have any suggestions, I've been getting suggestions for like Virgin River and uh, Firefly Lane, things like that. What do you, what have you got for me? I watched Sweet Magnolias. What are some other suggestions for like, Brianna needs something to watch while she's on the treadmill or elliptical because there's nothing else to watch right now on YouTube. So let me know your suggestions. But the real reason I sat down here is because I wanted to talk a little bit about how to get started with your weight loss journey or your health and fitness goals in 2023. I'm sure there are people out there, especially people watching this video specifically because of the title, that have started or set weight loss goals, health and fitness related goals for the new year, but some of you might be unsure how to get started. In the past, you have seen other people do other plans and you're like, I don't really know if that's the right thing for me. What am I supposed to do for my plan specifically? And I'm here today just to give you a couple of my quick tips for how to get started. This is not the in-depth coaching. This is not the let me calculate your macros lecture. This is just how to get started. What are your first baby steps towards your health and fitness goals? Step number one, and I mentioned this already, today how I'm staying hydrated, but it is increase your water intake. I'm willing to bet if you have some health and fitness goals, one of them can very easily be up your water intake and you won't be close to overhydrating yourself, right? All of us can probably use at least an extra glass of water in a day, but my overall general suggestion is at minimum, drink half of your body weight in ounces of water. So if you're somebody who weighs 200 pounds, drink 100 ounces of water. And if you want to do a little like overshoot, do 128 ounces of water. That is a full gallon. I find personally, this is mind boggling. And actually in my free Facebook group, this comment was made by multiple people when I said, Hey, what's the one thing you're working on for your goals today? Everybody said they're drinking their water. And someone actually said that drinking their water helped them lose their weight this week for their first weigh-in. And I was like, that's great. And it is something that I have found to be true. Water is something that can be very, very easy, but also can be very, very difficult. And I find when I'm on the ball with my water, I am fuller, I'm more satisfied, I'm less cravy, my body functions better. And at the end of the week, the scale goes down. And so it's just one of those things that like, please, if you do nothing else for your body, because hydration, our body is like 70% water, um, hydrate your body, hydrate your body with water appropriately. Coffee technically hydrates, but don't hydrate exclusively with coffee. Drink that water up that water goal. It is one of the most basic bodily necessities that you can do and greatest things you can do to improve your health in 2023. This is what I say at nauseum, but you gotta up your protein intake. The number of calories that we consume dictates whether or not we lose weight. The type of calories we consume, AKA our macro balance, dictates what kind of weight we lose. So if you are a cardio bunny and doing a restrictive low calorie diet, but you're eating mostly carbohydrates or you're not eating enough protein specifically, you might lose weight, but you're not necessarily going to lose weight in the way that you want to lose weight. You're going to lose some muscle mass in that. And what we want to do when we are losing weight is what we actually want is losing fat, right? To prime your body for fat loss, you have to be in a calorie deficit and you need to be eating a substantial amount of protein, a substantial 
amount of protein. If you are not eating at least 100 grams of protein every single day, you need to eat more protein, especially if you are on a fat loss diet. If you are somebody who's interested in losing weight, losing fat, and you're not eating 100 grams of protein a day, that is the first thing you need to change for your diet. It's going to help make sure that your body maintains that level of protein so you can lose fat and not muscle mass. And it's also going to help you feel much more satisfied so you will crave less foods and you'll actually be able to stay within the range of your calorie deficit. So protein is a very, very important let's begin our diet in 2023 rule. My third tip is to not eliminate carbohydrates. We are done with keto. We are done with low carb. Carbohydrates are a fundamental, essential nutrient for our body and our primary source of energy. Our brain needs carbs to function properly. Like it's a thing. We really, really need carbohydrates. So I want you to switch your focus from, I need to eat low carb. I need to eat keto to, I need to eat healthier, nutritious, nutrient dense carbohydrates that are filled with fiber. Fibrous carbohydrates is something our body needs. It's not that we need less carbohydrates. It's that we need less junk food and we automatically demonize carbohydrates because carbohydrates are one of the primary macronutrients in junk food. So instead of demonizing the macro, I mean, don't demonize anything. I like me my dessert every day. You guys know that. So don't demonize any of the foods, but maybe less junk instead of less carbs. You know what I'm saying? Eat some carbs, eat some vegetables, eat some fruit, eat some brown rice, eat some beans. All of those things are carbohydrates. There's a whole lot more quinoa, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, even pasta, um, bread, bread is great. And you can get some great breads that are like whole hearty seedy breads that have protein, that have fiber and are very filling and a great addition to your plate. Don't eliminate carbs or any macronutrient for that matter. My last little, this is how we get started in 2023 tip is of course to move your body. It doesn't have to be commit to this crazy intense workout routine. I just want you to find a way that moves your body that brings you joy or at the very least brings you satisfaction. I do understand that there are people that are like, I just don't like the concept of moving my body. I don't. Find something that you can at least tolerate until you can build up that tolerance to an actual enjoyment of life. But I want you to think of moving your body as a way of honoring your body. Nourishing your body appropriately is a way of honoring your body. You only get this one body, and I'm preaching to myself here, by the way, you only get this one body. So what you do with it, it the, this is your only chance. This, look at your body right now, look at your hands, look at your, look at your chest, look at your legs, look at your belly, because we're all probably concerned with our belly. This one body is the body that we get. So we only have one chance. We only have one chance. Honor this body, this creation, this God-given gift, by treating it appropriately, nourishing it well, and moving it instead of letting it just sit and be in a vegetative state. Please, sedentary state, whatever you wanna call it. Move your body, get out and walk for 10 minutes. Get on your treadmill and walk for 10 minutes. No treadmill, walk around your house for 10 minutes. Step in place, Leslie Sansone walk at home video. There are endless options. There's a ton of free stuff on YouTube. Wanna start yoga? Yoga with Adrienne on YouTube is a great place to start and it's completely free, not sponsored. There are resources, there are options. Nobody has a reason to do nothing. And this is speaking as somebody who has a disability, right? You might not, everybody's, everybody's movement looks different. There are people that are wheelchair bound. There are people that are, you know, X, Y, and Z. And there are some exceptions, but odds are if you're here, you want to start a health and fitness journey and you feel that you are physically capable of starting one, which means you need to move your body. Go walk 10 minutes, set a timer for 10 minutes. That's all the movement you need to do to get started. And then gradually, I'd love to see you increase your overall step count. If you're at 2000 steps a day, get it to three, then four, then five. And your goal should be somewhere between eight to 12,000 steps a day. And there you have it. Those are the, the basics, how to get started. Drink more water, eat more protein, do not eliminate carbohydrates or any macronutrient for that matter. Honor your body with movement, y'all. And I'm also gonna throw in there, make sure you're getting enough sleep. If you're not sleeping, if your sleep hygiene isn't good, if you're not going to bed at a reasonable hour and sleeping for seven to nine hours a night, your body's not gonna wanna let go of the weight because you're not getting enough rest. Trust me, trust me. All right. There's my little lecture for the day. I have stuff to do before my live stream tonight, so I will talk to you at dinner time. All right, friends, here is my dinner. This is an entire chicken breast. I took a little bite off of there, and I decided rather than remove the last little, like, 0.3 of an inch for what I pre-tracked, or inch, 
ounce, I'm like, I'm just going to eat the whole thing because a little extra protein never hurt anybody, right? We have steamed vegetables. We have 70 grams of jasmine rice. And then to put a little fat on it, I did this homemade miso dressing, which has sesame oil in it because otherwise I would have zero fat on my plate. So a little bit of dressing will be the fat for this evening. I have a few snacky snacks that I need to fill you in on that I've eaten today. So first, I did eat one of these healthy eating on the go bars, the peanut butter oat bar cranberry. So delicious. One of my favorite bars. They are 200 calories and 9 grams of protein. I had one of these little oatmeal cookies that are homemade and then I had one of these um, copycat burger cookie recipes. These are my father-in-law's favorite cookies and I decided to see if I could find a recipe to make them at home. This one is one I found on King Arthur, like the flower company, their website. The cookie is meh, but the fudge topping is awesome. They will suffice for now. They're not exactly like burgers, but they're pretty good. So those are the three things that I didn't film myself eating earlier. And then my dessert and last thing for today is going to be one of these Yasso bars. I love these because there's no sugar substitutes in them. They're just real food, just nicely portioned. And it's Greek yogurt instead of ice cream. So good. I'm going to have this mint chocolate crunch one, which is 150 calories for the one bar. 290 if you want to have two. A little bit of protein in there, some fat, some carbs, gram of fiber. Solid way to end the day. All right, my live stream is done. I helped my mother-in-law clean the kitchen. We had a great conversation at live stream tonight. I talked about the things that I am letting go of and leaving behind for 2023. It was a great conversation. If you didn't get to catch it live, go ahead and watch the replay because I feel like there was a lot to be said in there. And then in the comments, let me know what you're leaving behind in 2023. But for now, that is what I ate in a day to lose weight. I met my macros almost spot on, which was actually really fabulous. I'm feeling very good about that. I have almost 11,000 steps and I still am going to be going because I've got laundry to fold and a couple other things to do before it is time for bed. But thank you so much for taking the time to watch. If you're not already a subscriber and a member of the Diva and the Divine community, you know where that little red button is. And don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified when I upload new things. And I will talk to you all later. Have a wonderful night. Thanks for watching.